In this video, we are going to learn about post-transcriptional modification or processing of eukaryotic pre-mRNA. mRNA processing is the structural modification and functional maturation of newly synthesized mRNA molecules. It is essential and it is an prerequisite for mRNA functioning and gene regulation. The modification occurring during transcription is called co-transcriptional modification and the one taking place after the completion of transcription is called post-transcriptional modification. So before or I'm sorry during transcription it is called co-transcriptional modification and one taking place after the completion of transcription is called post-transcriptional modification. An mRNA molecule copied or transcribed from a DNA template is called mRNA transcript during transcription it is called nascent transcript and after the completion of transcription it is called primary mRNA transcript primary mRNA or pre-mRNA it is an exact replica or negative copy of the DNA template strand from which it has been transcribed the pre-mRNA of eukaryotes is also called heterogeneous nuclear RNA or HNRNA because it exists in a great variety of size. It never exists as a naked RNA but always remains complexed with proteins forming heterogeneous nuclear ribonucleoprotein or HNRNP. Pre-mRNA undergoes post-transcriptional processing and becomes functional mature mRNA or mature mRNA transcript. In bacteria, pre-mRNA is unstable and it is very seldom processed or modified. Most usually it is transcribed, translated and degraded in a few minutes as a continuous process but in eukaryotes pre-mRNA is stable and it undergoes elaborate post-transcriptional processing in the nuclear matrix. During this certain mRNA processing factors such as spliceosome and polyadenylation enzymes get attached to the C-terminal tail of RNA polymerase 2. As a result transcription and mRNA processing becomes linked together. The pre-mRNA of the eukaryotes is exceptionally long, immature and non-functional. It contains coding and non-coding regions, a ladder sequence at the 5' end and a trailer sequence at the 3' end. It undergoes chemical modification inside the nucleus and becomes a mature functional mRNA. This is called mRNA processing or post-transcriptional modification of mRNA. Mature mRNA then leaves the nucleus. The processing of eukaryotic pre-mRNA involves five major events, namely chemical modification of bases, splicing or streaming, capping, tailing and editing. Then modification of bases. The chemical modification of bases is accompanied and accomplished by the methylation of interior adenine residues. The significance of this process is not known. Then splicing. Splicing is essentially the removal of non-coding regions and the subsequent ligation of the coding regions of mRNA. During this, the non-coding regions and the introns that are not required in genetic translation are cleaved out or sliced away by ribonucleases. The remaining exons are soon ligated or joined together by the enzyme RNA ligase. This, the excessively long pre-mRNA is trimmed to a stable molecule of desired length and required nucleotide composition. The splicing out of introns involved the excision or cleaving of the phosphodiester bonds, whereas ligation of exons occurs through phosphodiester bonding. Excision and ligation must be highly precise because the addition or loss of even a single nucleotide will abnormally alter the reading frame of the message. The nuclear pre-mRNA are generally spliced by the so-called spliceosome larial mechanism. Spliceosome or splicing complex is a multi-component ribonucleoprotein complex involved in the removal of intron sequence from nuclear pre-mRNAs. It catalyzes the excision and ligation reactions of cleaving out introns and joining exons. It is also responsible for the folding of the pre-mRNA into the correct conformation for splicing. Once splicing is completed, the spliceosome dissociates. Lariat is an mRNA intermediate generated during the splicing of pre-mRNA. It has a circular component and a tail-like extension from branch point. In mRNA processing, the excised introns are discarded as lariate RNAs. Then capping. 
Capping is the formation of a protective cap at the 5' prime end of the pre-mRNA by the addition of 5-methyl guanosine. It may begin even before transcription is over. So it is co-transcriptional as well as post-transcriptional process. It involves two major events namely methylation of the first two or three nucleotides at the 5' prime end and capping of the molecule by the incorporation of an inverted 7-methyl guanine nucleotide phosphate guanosine triphosphate residue with the terminal nucleotide through an unusual 5 prime 5 prime triphosphate linkage phosphodiester bond using gtp capping is catalyzed by the enzyme mrna guanyl transferase the cap is soon methylated by the enzyme guanine methyl transferase and 5 prime end of the mrna is significant in several ways it facilitates the export of mrna through nuclear pore helps ribosome binding and protects mrna from 5 prime end degradation then tailing or polyadenylation tailing is a process of polyadenylation in incorporation of numerous adenine nucleotides at the 5 prime end soon after transcription as many as 2000 or more adenine residues are added with the help of the enzyme adenyl adenylic acid transferase capping and tailing are believed to protect the mrna from the degradative actions of ribonucleases apart from this its polyadenylate tail may possibly help it to pass to the nuclear pore to the cytoplasm next point mrna editing mrna editing is the mechanism which alters the genetic information encoded by the exon sequences in mrna it involves the precise addition and deletion of nucleotides within the coding regions of mrna this in turn modulates genetic activity mrna editing results in an mrna molecule which is different from its dna template with respect to the nucleotide sequence in the coding region this difference is not due to the splicing out of introns but due to the addition deletion or rearrangement of nucleotides rna editing can be co-transcriptional or post-transcriptional the former occurs simultaneous with transcription and the later only after completion of transcription the genes subject to rna editing are called crypto genes in mammals, RNA editing is believed to determine the properties of some ion channels and deep protein coupled receptors. The evolution of the significance of RNA editing is not definitely known. There are four different kinds of RNA editing as follows like simple editing. Conversion of only a single nucleotide is a post transcriptional process. Then insertional editing. The co transportional I'm sorry, co-transcriptional insertion of either a single nucleotide or short turns of nucleotides. And then pan editing. Post-transcriptional insertion or deletion of multiple nucleotides. Post-transcriptional addition or deletion of multiple uracil nucleotides. And post-transcriptional addition of multiple cytosine nucleotides. Then polyadenylation editing. Post-transcriptional addition of adenine nucleotides at the 3' prime end of the mRNA transcript. So in this video we have learned about transcriptional processing and translational modifications like I'm sorry we learned about post transcriptional modifications or processing of eukaryotic pre mRNA not translational there was a mistake in the slide given in this video it's just post transcriptional modification thank you for listening